Welcome back, Leo, to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? We have Seven of Air with the Two of Water. So someone's neglecting the relationship right now, uh, neglecting someone's needs. Um, as well as emotions. So someone's uh, tending to other needs and responsibilities rather than yours here. We have, I know I messed everything up. I love you. Okay, so this person's acknowledging uh, what they did in the situation <clears throat> and uh, definitely letting you know that they do love you regardless of what's happened here. Overall energy we have, sorry, I got the deck upside down, Six of Pentacles. This is about an equal give and take, uh, therefore, you know, someone taking more than they should and the other person give uh, just giving and giving and not receiving their needs in the relationship. So this is definitely about needs, not wants here, okay, to build something into something stable, okay? So let's... Let's see where you're at here, Leo, Leo, lovely Leos. Oh, we have the seven of swords again here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So five of pentacles, ten of swords, and the seven of swords. So you have been you know, on the outs with this person, you've been neglected here and you feel like uh, very misunderstood with the five of swords. Um, I mean, sorry, five of pentacles, 10 of swords, seven of pentacles. And you realize uh, right now that you've possibly been, um, I want to say duped, but you feel like someone's just trying to run away from you in the current moment. So about the seven of swords, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, you feel like they're definitely running away from their emotions and how they feel about you, uh, not wanting to even uh, even acknowledge that you're there, okay? Some of the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, yeah. This kind of uh, broke your self-esteem a little bit, made you feel, uh, you're kind of surprised that you let this person uh, not break you, but make you feel like you... It could take down your self-esteem. Like, you, you're you surprised at that. Tell me the Ten of Swords. It's almost like no one ever knocks you down to this point, and this person did this. Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Yeah, you're struggling because you're just like, this is too much stress, too much anxiety, and this is starting to affect my normal life, so I don't want to really deal with this anymore, but I see you trying to retract your energy from the situation as well as this person. So let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. Seven of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So you guys might have met online dating or this might have started just through the internet online, um, even through social media here. This is my online dating duo, Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So this is something they're watching you in the current moment, okay? They're seeing you kind of shine. You may not be letting people know you're upset or devastated here because they're watching you and they're seeing you online or pictures of you, social media where you are just you're living your best life. You know, you're doing you and you're getting a lot of attention from other people and they're watching this and noticing here. With the Seven of Cups, they're really still trying to come in. They're passionate about you and they really wanna talk to you here. Let's see this uh, Seven of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, Page of Wands. So this is usually a message online. Um, when you get the Knight of Wands or Page of Wands or the Seven of Cups. So Page of Wands, this is uh, wanting to send you a message, trying to figure out as well what's the best route to go, uh, what should I say, what should I do with this. 
<clears throat> Some with the Knight of Wands. High Priestess, King of Wands. Yeah. So their ultimate goal is they, they kind of want to come back and the position you're in, you may not believe this at all, but, or may not see this coming, but this person wants to not be very in and out, flighty energy. Uh, you didn't really, could, you couldn't really rely on this person. It seems like when you needed, you know, things fulfilled for yourself uh, in regards to emotional um, understanding, things like that, they were just gone, right? But um, what you don't know is this person doesn't want that anymore. They want to uh, become the king of wands. And intuitively, they're trying to uh, kind of feel the energy and see when they should really message you uh, here. But they're showing up uh, as the king of wands and you're showing up as the queen. So uh, this is a very intense connection. Uh, your energy is definitely all all over uh, in this reading here but uh, what I want to say is this person there's something that's happening especially with the high priestess where they're they're starting to realize that you know to when they lo lo they're losing you now and they're starting to realize their life without you it's starting to bother them and they're they're realizing what exactly they want from you which is to uh, make this something more solid. You know, they want to meet you in the middle now as the king of wands instead of uh, this unequal give and take where they were taking more from you and uh, not giving anything back. So let's see what happened in the past here. We have Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So in the past, things seemed to be very solid, very uh, safe. You felt like you could rely on this person. This person, uh, it looks like they told you things, like that this was headed somewhere in the future. And they were actually deciding this. Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, uh, they knew that they wanted this to be you know, possibly a, lo a long-term relationship or commitment here. I do have to say someone might be a like a business owner or they might have been in charge of you at work. doesn't have to be for everyone, but for some people. Uh, let's see this King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. You, some of you, for a very few, you might have uh, kids with this person too. You might have been married to them in the past. Um, and then things didn't work out and uh, this situation it like came back to you so this person you know was very much trying to show you passion and show you that they were interested in you uh, but that's for a small group here so six of cups this is about um, a common love a soulmate type love uh, where there's a common ground of where you feel like you are home uh, when you are around them or talking to them. And this seemed to be like a safe place in the past here. So let's see what happened. Let's see what the challenge is in the situation. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. So I see from your side, you, you definitely wanted, you know, emotional fulfillment you wanted to be understood by them you wanted this to uh, be a long term as well uh, so did they in the beginning but we're going to get to where they're at now um, something sparked an interest here so what I'm seeing is you got a random phone call or a random message from this person and it was it was great right uh, the way that you guys talked it was fantastic you felt good it felt so exciting but then I just seemed to peter out right it, you thought it was going to go somewhere and it just didn't um, for those of you that are dealing with this person from the past and they've come back in in the situation if you've been married to them before or have kids with them um, what I'm seeing is that when they came back in it was like this excitement like oh my gosh you know, I knew that they loved me. I knew that this is going to turn back around. And there was a little hesitancy on your side to trust them. But at the same time, 
um, it was just excitement because it was that old uh, feeling in the Ten of Cups that, you know, emotional fulfillment when you're with family and you're married and, you know, it's just that that memory from the past there, okay, in the Six of Cups. So when they came forward to you and reached out, it was kind of surprising and it made you think of all the possibilities of what could be, okay? So let's see this uh, Ace of Wands here. Tower, yeah. It was, an, it was instant. It was unexpected here. Uh, there seemed to be a lot of things, a lot of emotions uh, that were negative as well that kind of brought up old memories of what really was, was the demise of the relationship in the past. Okay, and for those of you, I don't want to leave you out that are dealing with somebody that you never really been in a, a relationship with this person in the past. Um, what this is, is there when they come towards you, they just all of a sudden left you. Okay, and when they left you, it just it left you so broken hearted and kind of feeling like, you know, you weren't good enough. And you never let that happen before. This was somebody that you feel really soul tied to. Okay. But um, again, this is an unexpected thing that happened. Uh, it shocked you. I, I could feel that here and I can see it uh, in the Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So when they came back after a long period there, it was like, you know, all these feelings just kept flooding back and feeling, you know, like, whoa, this, I didn't think this was going to happen. This could be amazing. Tell me this, uh, Queen of Swords. Emperor, Six of Wands. Okay, so I'm seeing also, there's other situations as well where um, this person is married uh, and you've had a past relationship with them and you might have let it go in the past or just not heard from them and then they came back okay and so queen of swords emperor six of wands it's like you're not wanting to let them get away with it and this is for all groups here okay so uh the challenge here is there's been too much hurt and too much abandonment and rejection type issues as well as feeling emotionally neglected and feeling like you're just they didn't care at all and so uh the issue here is with the queen of swords is it's really hard to get past that barrier and now it's like you're you're starting to see things in a new light you're seeing that you know what you really want you don't ever really want to feel this way again and you don't want to allow someone to go past your boundary to do this to you again okay that's like very important to you right now. So let's see what their action. Is this week seven of pentacles, chariot, two of cups. So here they come. Okay. So you've not heard from them for a while. Um, but again, like I said, they're wanting to step up from the knight of wands to the king of wands step in their power and not be that, you know, possible player or um, very wishy-washy energy. <clears throat> so Seven of Pentacles Chariots. This person is now wanting to invest, right? Uh, they're wanting to put all their eggs in one basket, which was which is with you, and take the time to put in the effort and watch it grow, okay? And we have the Two of Cups here because they feel the same way you do they have not stopped thinking about you and they they have felt like you are their person here in the six of cups they feel like you're their soulmate tell me i just heard a divine connection <clears throat> yeah wanting to get past this point the two of swords page of swords where they're they're at a stalemate with you right now okay they're it's completely blocked because they know when they made that decision, just actually was a decision just to not do anything and really just not talk to you, not come back, or even just neglect your needs here. Um, when they did that, this left it so it's making it very hard for them to come in. So they're deciding right now, what am I going to do? What's the best time and what message do I send here? So you are about to receive a message. We're going to see where this is headed in the extended reading, Leo. 
We're going to go over their um, future action, okay, as well as the outcome, get more details around the situation. And uh, so if this is resonating with you, you're more than welcome to join me. If not, uh, if this is your last stop, guys, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.